Today, our topic of discussion is opportunities for creators with Geo XR platform. Myself, Karan Nirmal, I lead the developer marketing function at Geo Tesseract. Uh, we at Geo Tesseract are committed to inspire, educate, and create a robust networking platform for people and businesses and uh, bring transformation with the power of XR. Uh, we have our esteemed speakers, Ishika Gupta who leads the developer partnership function at GeoDesert, along with her colleague Abhishek Junka. And we also have a guest speaker this time, uh, Samkit Sharma. Samkit, welcome, uh, who, uh, who is the founder of uh, hack to skill community. Without further ado, I welcome our uh, speakers to commence the session. So Ishika, Abhishek and Samkit, you guys can take over. Ishika, if you are starting the session, then please feel free to take over. Thank you. Thank you, Karan. Thanks for that. Uh, like, you know, such a motivating um, introduction for all of us. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the latest uh, DevConnect session. Uh, very excited this time to partner with hack to skill um, You know, we do these sessions on a monthly basis and we update, like, you know, our community about the kind of updates that we have made. So let's start. I'll introduce a little bit about Geo Tesseract and the whole Geo ecosystem. So we are basically like an MIT Media Lab spin-off. And uh, what we do here is that we are the AR and VR arm of Reliance and Geo. We have a very simple goal here. We want to democratize mixed reality by bringing meaningful XR experiences and affordable devices for consumers and enterprises. We want to unite enterprises, content studios, and developers to accelerate the adoption of XR in India. And of course, the next wave of computing is coming. So we definitely want to kind of leverage its power, considering its immense potential to transform the way the people watch, learn, play, consume healthcare content, or even like, you know, improve their productivity. Just a quick recap and an introduction of what our platform is, that we are an end-to-end -end ecosystem, similar to what, you know, you will find on Oculus, uh, which is Meta's platform, or even Windows Mixed Reality, which was Microsoft's platform. So what we do here is that we have our XR devices, which is our hardware layer. We have our own software uh, and cloud services. We have a content layer. Think of this as the XR app store. And then we have the connectivity layer, which is you know 4G, 5G, and fiber. Now, all of this is coming together to basically make XR as a platform affordable, accessible, and available to not just you know, consumers or enterprises, but also to developers and content creators so that all of us can come together and advance this space and like you know, jump into the next wave of computing or the metaverse as we sort of call it. I um, you know, wouldn't sort of go into defining what the metaverse is because I think you know, over the past six months, um, ever since <clears throat> um, like, you know, Facebook has kind of rebranded itself as Meta and even like, you know, given that whole, um, like, you know, change and drive into this industry. Uh, there are multiple definitions, you know, which are coming up about what this metaverse is going to be, what is Web 3.0. But there are a couple of things which like, you know, are, which are certain keywords which keep coming up. One is that um, it's definitely an extension of our current Internet usage. It's a digital twin of the way that we currently use the web. Uh, it is definitely not just about how, like, you know, we will wear a certain hardware and then, like, you know, experience virtual worlds, but it's also about an economy, a digital economy to be specific, like, you know, where we can trade digital assets, we can own digital avatars, we can create our own different identities. How there is no definite, like, you know, definition of this particular term of what this will be at this point in time, but I'm sure that, you know, all of us together, we as a platform company, you as creators will come together and define this space where like, you know, say a few years from now, we will have is like, we will be the people who will be driving this space. So coming to the hero of this entire, uh, like, you know, ecosystem that we have, which is GeoClass. So GeoClass is an ergonomically designed AR class, which has excellent visual clarity and spatial audio, which makes you feel as if, um, like, you know, once you wear it, it makes you feel as if you're sitting at the comfort of your home and enjoying your favorite TV shows or your movies or your personal favorite games. GeoClass has three key use cases, which is watch, learn, and play. 
and we are also now adding healthcare and productivity to it. So in the watching category, we already have like the largest library of like you know, 10,000 movies and TV shows that you can experience on a 100 inch virtual screen as if you're in a personal theater. In terms of play, we have like, you know, both Android ecosystem applications, which is 1 million applications, plus also on top of that, our native uh, 100 gaming applications that you can play in an immersive format. In terms of learning, we have K to 12 aligned modules, which come in the number of 500 to 800, where in terms of science, um, biology, mathematics, uh, engineering, and um, uh, chemistry modules that you can uh, sort of interact with. In terms of healthcare, say, for example, you know, you want to do guided meditations, you want to do, um, you just feel stressed and you want somebody to like, you know, help you relax and calm down. We have uh, meditation modules, we have guided experts, like, you know, which come in the form of your avatars and they help you understand, like, you know, how to calm yourself down, how to exercise, how to improve your breathing. We also have like, you know, very cool cooking applications. Say you want a hands-free application where you want to, um, you know, see the ingredients, see the recipe at the same time and cook at the same time. Then in terms of um, productivity, like, you know, there's multi-skin productivity. What if you want to extend your current mobile and laptop devices to like a five-inch screen and then multitask with it? All of this is possible with GeoPlus. Now, coming very specifically to our go to market strategy. Now, this I would like to kind of, um, you know, divide into two different halves. The first half is that, of course, like, you know, we are geo is known to be like the largest telecom uh, in the country. What that also means is that we have the power of fiber through which we can reach yeah, at the beginning of our go to market strategy, a minimum of like about one to two million, like, you know, households. Um, what that essentially also means is that we have this fiber device. What we're doing is that we're bundling our hardware with the fiber and taking it to market. So that essentially cuts down the any sort of efforts that come into the user acquisition initially. And the second, how that is going to divide into the kind of devices that we have is that we have one which is a GeoGlass Lite device, and then we have a GeoGlass Pro device. So the Lite device is basically something which is um you know more easy to use it's a smartphone plug and play so which comes only with the glasses and your smartphone becomes the compute unit and the controller so with that you can of course experience all your native um you know geoglass applications and along with that uh, one million plus applications which are sub sub supported off the shelf from the android play store you can also enjoy like you know any application that you're currently using in your smartphone can easily be used like and displayed on your geoglass devices when you use the light device this is something which is particularly you know catered towards casual gamers movie buffs and tech enthusiasts then in terms of a higher grade device we have something called the geoglass pro in geoglass pro what happens is that it comes with a very powerful processor it is six top in nature and it has native applications which can be used for both heavy gaming enterprise applications and for developers to develop applications for our platform okay just a quick insight the vr market is way easier to crack than the ar market ever because the vr market is already set by some of these um, you know devices that you're mentioning here in the uh, in the comment section the ar market is very very difficult to crack VR already has content and a user base which is there in the market. The AR classes don't. So what we are doing here is something which has not been done in this country ever before, which is introducing AR as an entry point into the XR market in India. What that essentially means is that, um, like you know, we want to start with making people familiar with what they are already used to on their 2D ecosystems and then move to a 3D ecosystem. So what that essentially means is that, like, you know, what are some of the applications that you use on your 2D mobile phones? Eventually, when you move from like one particular hardware that you are so consumed by on a daily basis, and then you want to move to a different hardware, would you want to move with a new set of experiences or would you want to move with, uh, with experiences which you're already used to? We want to give people access to the big screen experience. We want to just help them get used to a new device. And how we're going to make that happen is by giving them experiences, which is a mix of 2D and 3D applications. 2D applications are, you know, your YouTube, Netflix, Hotstar, 
uh, Facebook, Instagram that, you know, you can already use off the shelf. You can just, so for example, if you're already using it on your smartphone, you can easily just smartphone plug and play and use it in 3D on GeoGlass. So basically yeah. what I'm trying to say is that, you know, I want to first get people used to GeoGlass, which is like a completely new hardware for them through the experiences. And then eventually make them like, you know, comfortable with more 3D experiences also. Um, <clears throat> So we have recently been conducting since the past, like, you know, few months at Tesseract, you know, before we head into the consumer market, we have been conducting sort of customer trials. Now, what we have done for these customer trials is that we have divided, we have basically formulated certain personas through which, like, you know, we can validate our content with an audience fit. Because think of this as like, you know, whenever you launch a new product into the market, you need to understand if people are going to use it or not. What kind of content are they going to spend most time in, time on? And if they are spending time on certain type of content, will they use more of it? Um, or are they actually willing to spend like, you know, about 30 minutes of an engagement time on? So the few personas that we ended up, you know, formalizing were of course the game of persona. You know, these people are, you know, both casual and hardcore gamers. Then there are travel enthusiasts who like to travel, explore new opportunities, explore places. We have workaholics or productivity Greeks who basically use technology purely for the purpose of improving their uh, retention and their uh, content uh, understanding. We have solitude personas, people who really enjoy the me time. So, for example, you come back from a very heavy work day and you just want to relax. These are the kind of people who like to spend their time with technology to relax and calm themselves down. We have sports enthusiasts who use, um, like, you know, devices and technology for both, like, you know, expo exploring new uh, sporting events, uh, watch, play, both. Then we have health conscious people who use technology to kind of understand if they can track their health metrics and improve it. And then of course we have people like you know who just who just keen to learn. So they can this sort of includes both like in educational content as well as concept based learning. So some of the key learnings that you know we have been able to gather through our customer trials the past uh, few months is first of all that you know AR and VR is a very new device. So Users are at this point in time spending like a minimum of like five to 10 minutes on it daily. Then applications which are built very natively for an AR platform are going to perform way better than an application which is built, which is a VR application built for AR, or if it's a simple 2D application built for AR. So you have to ensure that the application that you're building has a 3D look and feel to it. It is adapted to the device or the platform that you're building for. If it's not, then it's basically never going to kind of scale up or people are never going to enjoy using it. Then the other thing is that people are really enjoying uh, like, you know, passive viewing habits on GeoGlass. Because as I mentioned earlier, GeoGlass is an ergonomically designed, uh, like, you know, very like an excellent uh, display device with spatial audio. So people love to just kind of sit back and watch a movie on it, uh, whether it be watch documentaries or just like, you know, consume healthcare content, which will help them sort of relax. Then applications which also have like an easy onboarding or a first time user experience are preferred. So just try and ensure that whatever you're building is easy to understand. It's simple. It's like, you know, it's not complicated for the user. And then, of course, uh, like, you know, what they're also looking for, as I mentioned earlier, is like popular consumer brands, which, you know, they are already familiar with in the 2D ecosystem. They want that exact same thing on the 3D ecosystem also. Some of these brands is what we're already looking for. So if anybody here is from like, you know, certain entity or uh, like, you know, developer content studio, which is looking to build certain applications, these are the top performing Android applications, which is, which are also going to perform extremely well on the Geo ecosystem. And besides that, we also have like an app store, which we have built with like, you know, some 5,000 developers in and where we have got some 600 application concepts shortlisted and we are actively right now working with about 300 developers wherein 150 applications have been published across six different categories on our app store and we have an active 700 members plus growing community on discord 
so i'm really looking forward to like you know having all of you guys here onto this platform and build and grow the whole xr ecosystem this is a very new space uh, like you know, this is a space where you know you can experiment you can learn you can grow a lot um, be an early sort of mover in this space and you will grow times fold by the time this industry is already into the mainstream and now I will like to just hand it over to Abhishek Jalka. So Abhishek is the person in our team who is responsible for growing this entire you know, developer ecosystem. He deals with developers day in, day out. He encourages them and guides them how to build the right applications for our platform. So Abhishek is going to take you through how is it that you know you can build applications for our platform in the most optimal way. Thanks, Vishika, for giving such valuable inputs. And uh, hello, everyone. My name is Abhishek Jalka. And, uh, I take care of the partnerships and relation at Geo Tesseract. So today, uh, you know, I'll be uh, taking you guys through uh, <clears throat> some more details on, you know, how you guys can bring your ideas to life and, you know, how such ideas can uh, be developed and can be published on a platform where, you know, you can start thinking of bringing into the consumer market and, you know, start uh, taking uh, like monetizing those application and earning out of it. So now, uh, you know, even we get to a, that stage where, you know, we are kind of uh, uh, thinking about any idea, right? So even, you know, before we get for on that stage, let's understand, you know, do we know a right platform for developing our application, basically? So here you can see, uh, so majorly there are two steps involved. One is, you know, choosing a target platform and other is choosing a development platform. So when it comes to ARs, you know, there are majorly two main displays earlier. One is the mobile, which we all know, which is Android and iOS. And other is the head mounted display, uh, which is your headsets. So before even we begin, you know, we need to make sure that uh, we need to understand what is our target audience and what 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 our product needs, basically. And I think most of the AR applications are being uh, developed for mobile devices earlier due to the cost associated with, you know, purchasing a head mounted display devices. And I think most of uh, HMDs, uh, the costs are on a higher side, which you know makes very difficult for consumers to even get that. And here, you know, GeoGlass is coming up where it's a consumer product where it will fulfill all the needs even for the consumer side as well as for the enterprise side. And if the app is you know intended for everyday consumer use, so we might consider developing it for mobile. But uh, you know, if the app is meant to be on an enterprise scale, so we can start developing for the HMDs, which is the head mounted displays. And with we are uh, choosing, you know, we need to decide. What is more important for us, you know, whether we want to develop a high end product that requires very high end performance or we want to just design a product that, you know, will reach the mass market. For example, let's say uh, if your product, you know, is developed primarily for the visualization of uh, real estate properties or project, then you might consider, you know, a high, a high quality HMD basically to, you know, make user feel like, you know, he's in a real environment or an apartment while being in a virtual reality. And if your product doesn't require, you know, real time data, uh, and the experience can, you know, render in advance. So we might, you know, consider the use of phone based HMD, you know, to result a wide, a wider target audience basically, right? So there are majorly two uh, uh, parameter. One is the AR, one is the VR when we choose. And after that, you know, once we selected uh, uh, the right uh, target platform, then, you know, we switch it to a development platform. So here, you know, majorly the factors which we consider, you know, while choosing your development tools, one is definitely the product needs right and second is the correlation with with the developing platform and you know your target platform and definitely the skills are very important what developer has that skills so that is very important so i hope uh, you guys got an understanding about you know how how do we choose a platform and then once you know that clarity we have then we switch it to the stage where you know we want to develop an idea so uh, here we can see there are certain steps you know once uh, we have started thinking about any idea. So then we'll decide, you know, what is our target audience? Then we, we need to decide the description of that application. What does it have? And definitely the app's name is very important. We need to have a good name for the application. And also we need to list down some features of the app, which let's say, you know, if it is a gaming, is it a single player? It is a multiplayer, right? And uh, also we need to also define a content coverage. For example, you know, it's an entertainment application. So what kind of content we are putting in? How many SKUs we are putting in for a model for visualization? So that needs to be defined. And once you know we have that clarity, then basis of that, uh, <clears throat> I think we can also define the uh, timelines for that, like how much time we are taking it for develop uh, to develop such application, you know, modeling, designing, everything. So once that is there with us, then at a stage we have a concept ready. 
right? So then we we have an understanding how we can you know take it to the next stage. So th so that is something which I wanted to add here. And now you know uh, we as a company we also have created an end to end XR ecosystem, and we are running a, a developer program where you know uh, the community can join and you know they can start building such experiences. And what you guys will have in this uh, ecosystem and this developer program, as I said, you know. We are building this end-to-end -end XR ecosystem where you know we have our own set of devices where you know GeoGlass is kind of first one which we are starting with, and we'll keep coming up with other devices as well in future. But uh, this is a device which is an AR glass to start with, and apart from this, uh, you know uh, we have uh, our clo own cloud infrastructure, uh, leveraging the existing data center that Geo Telecom is already having. We are building our own OS, the operating system, which is Android based. And apart from that, you know, we are kind of also building different platforms for you guys. Where, you know, the first platform is focused for uh, developers and content creators like you who would be using our SDK platform services, uh, cloud services to create, you know, exceptional experiences for the end user. So this is this is the first platform which we are building. And second platform which we are building that is completely, you know, for the delivery that is for the consumer side, basically, where, you know, you will find different uh, consumer focus use cases. Uh, let's say first could be entertainment, right? Which will have your applications like Geo Cinema, Geo Seven, Geo TV, your Netflix, other famous OTT platform. So it's like, you know, sitting at your home, wearing your glasses, you can actually visualize a favorite show or a screen or, or, over a virtual screen in front of you. So that is one second category. We have learning where, you know, we have uh, AR modules, 360 VR modules in which everything is aligned to, you know, Indian boards curriculum and other boards curriculum. So it's like, you know, students who are, you know, actually referring to their textbook, they can also use this device to further reinforce what they're already learning. Then we have shopping use cases where, you know, people can shop sitting at their home. They can visualize their products for different brands. They can, you know, see how it will going to fit in, in their houses and they can even buy it at the end. So the, these kind of use cases also covers in uh, shopping category then we have gaming wherein a uh, lot of developers in india and globally they are you know kind of creating or porting their existing games on geoglass and uh, for global developers it's like you know we are basically opening up india as a market for them and for indian developers and content creators like you so we all know that we were building for other platforms and their devices were not very easily available in india right and uh, also you guys need a platform in india to start monetizing and publishing your apps so that's why you know such community is already there with us, which which they are very much interested, and in. they are already building apps with GeoGlass, and we'll be kind of launching all applications on our own store, which is the GeoGlass XR store, very soon. Then apart from this, uh, watch, learn, and play category and shopping category, we have productivity, healthcare, and wellness. All such categories are there, and uh, so this is this is all about this ecosystem. And after this, once we are done with this consumer program, this launch, we are going to enter into the enterprise sector as well. Where you know you have a lot of uh, uh, you know opportunities to work on your B2B solutions and projects and applications. So that is also another uh, part of this ecosystem. And uh, apart from this, uh, as I said, you know GeoGlass is kind of a consumer product which is coming uh, this year. Uh, for, uh, and we are targeting Indian household families. Uh, you know, and there are different user personas. There are different use cases, and people will gonna you know explore this device. And we are kind of. Uh, also coming up with the 5G services, so it will also enhance the customer experience sitting at their home. And the GeoGlass is kind of being positioned as an indoor based uh, entertainment and lifestyle product. You know that with, that comes with the cutting edge uh, 3D display and spatial audio system, which you know enhance media consumption and uh, transfer people's daily life uh, with content offerings across the spectrum. Right. So this is this is about about this. Uh, uh, program and also you know uh, Geo Telecom is the I think they are having more than you know uh, 450 million subscribers uh, uh, across their 4G network and also they have uh, uh, Geo Fiber subscribers as well so you know the kind of market we already have so this will help you out you know to showcase your content to you know larger audience if 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 you start with us and uh, apart from this uh, the benefits which we provide once you guys join the developer program. We also have a Discord channel. We have a GeoPlus developer community where you know you can join. You can find updates related to webinars. A uh, lot of SDK versions are coming up. We have an incentive program which we also you know uh, run every month where you know we award uh, certain applications which are at a certain level and we give them rewards for that. 
which becomes our top app of the month. And also, you know, if you have any issues, if you need any kind of support while you are developing your application, we have a dedicated dev support team, you know, who can help you out to, you know, uh, get your app through through any any you know bottlenecks basically. So this is this is basically uh, and also we have a we keep uh, you know running a certain developer meets you know at different locations so where we collaborate with you guys and you know we get your ideas to that stage where from you can start developing it and you know your app gets published. We also have a developer console portal where you know you guys can create your account, your projects, and you know they, you can submit your bills. And there you know it goes to different QAs and checks. And we have an experienced team who also gives you a valuable feedback so that you know your app gets to a consumer ready level, and then it gets published on our own store. So basically, you know, this is overall this ecosystem and the process and how you can you, you guys can, you know, uh, get started. So this is the uh, step basically which which you guys can follow once you uh, you, you know, enroll for this program. You guys can register on our website. You can drop your contact details in the chat as well, you know, where uh, then our team will reach out to you. Then we have a certain process for, you know, onboarding uh, the developer uh, on this platform. You guys can get SDK assess once, you know, we sign the NDA. Uh, with you guys because SDK is publicly not available as of now because we haven't launched it. So uh, you can sign the NDA, you can get the SDK with its documentation. Then after that, you know, you can submit your ideas uh, as we discussed. And once, you know, it goes through, we sign the official agreement with you and then you guys can get started. You can develop your application and then, you know, with regular QAs and checks and feedbacks, your apps get improved and it gets published on the store and gets published there. I uh, would like to welcome now Samkit Sharma, our guest speaker for the day. Uh, Samkit, all over to you. Thank you, Karan, uh, for the opportunity. And thank you, uh, Geo Tesseract team, for, for partnering with us, for, for the great opportunity, for our uh, even community of, of developers and ER experts and all. So so as, as, as you all can see, how this entire uh, I will say the Geo XR platform, how this entire developer network helps your uh, uh, developers to come into, into that those those zones, those I will say the entire mixed reality experience and how to start with this. This is a great opportunity. This is a new opportunity for you. Uh, and I can I can say you from the days of, of Web 2.0 where all this apps market has initiated on the mobile phones on, on on the laptops and all all have have started started developing their apps started like the like developing this ecosystem now this is a this is a next level this is the like web 3.0 this is all about this metaverse all are all about this ar and vr experience and all so to start with this uh, let me quickly share so apart from this uh, just a quick overview and 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 i'm taking uh, basically the two topics one is the power of community the power of network how this power of network how this power of community will will help you in various uh, i will say for your knowledge for your inspiration for your any kind of details any kind of a confidence to, to, to join the particular network, especially this uh, Geo Tesseract developers program and all. So all this helps you uh, in, in various ways. All these communities, I will say all these events, all these mentorships, like Abhishek, one of one of it, it's directly connected to all the developers and all. So this is how the entire network, how this entire, I will say, ecosystem helps you to and 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 build your confidence to to work very aggressively in, into this, uh, and 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 again I, I will say when the 2.0 this this revolutionary revolution all these apps has started, uh, everyone there are another group who is opposing the new culture, opposing the new ecosystem. Same happens with with this web uh, 3.0. You can see there are any markets and any metaverse anything like down, but this technology will stay. And you can see all these influencers are keep on pushing this technology, keep on keep on writing, keep on investing. Everything will be work around. So apart from this, to start with this, I will say uh, with this community, with this network, you will get to connect with those experts. So apart from this, you can see uh, the entire community is 40k strong AR developer. The, the entire network is strong is 1.5 million. I'm talking about. Hacto skill community. We are like like 
partnering partnering with geo tesseract in this particular session and and to push this and this exciting opportunity for all the community members and all to start with and I, again i will not take uh, much of the time to start with this uh, I, i will say this is lot of lot of this power of this community is very crucial for the entire i will say development of maybe apps to getting inspiration and all apart from this the mentorship from from industry leaders the mentorship from the industry leaders who have created those kind of a unicorn in the particular xr space all this opportunity will help you out to to come up with your app come up with your kind of a i will say technology inspiration and all and now now this is the very important part and and i will like encourage you i will i will say to you join any kind of xr community meetups whether it's ar vr try to join all the webinar session try to be in for the panel discussion if there are hackathons be a part of that hackathons knowledge sessions boot camps any twitter spaces and all you have to be in community you have to be learn you have to be explore from all around the corners of this particular platform why this is important because there are various experts who will be part of these particular initiatives particular that geo tesseract platform geo experts from geo they have their own discord network and all discord channel and all so it is very very important for for you to be a part of this community events this community events will help you and again i'm telling you this this hack to skill this formation of this my company also is this part of various community events only how to 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 all this network you will you will learn about various various technologies what happening around what new uh, coming to this particular and the best part is inspiration from various other network various other platforms you will keep getting those inspiration and it will help you to put those inspiration in your app in your xr app in in your i will say development so starting with this and and i will say this is the entire uh, community this will help you to put around your entire i will say learning explore and upskilling everything happening in this community events uh next uh, uh can we can move to another slide yeah and this is this is how the entire i will say opportunity for developers came in and now you can see in in like previous year the entire excite market was valued at 30 billion and it will be reached by like more than i will say 400 billion usds by 2026 now you can see this is a huge opportunity for the developers like you to start their journey in this particular xr i will say uh, the entire technology the entire experience and all the very first thing is launch your xr app so what what best so so i'm i'm just talking about from those days where the rovio the company is 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 uh, the reason for the angry bird game so it's a very small company and when they launch some on on their platform like i uh, i think on on apple store they have launched their very first app after their launch and and they were like a huge success because that particular platform the the promising platform they are uh, they have launched their app into that same it will be happens with the the geo xr platform so you have to you are you, you will get that early mover advantage that early advantage you you can learn how this platform is growing how the consumer is is upgrading how the consumer behavior is changing from that point you keep on add, adding that feature to your app so launch your xr app in this particular uh, market apart from this brand xr solution provider so there are many brands who want to launch their app in this particular ecosystem you can be the solution provider for for those brands there are n number there are huge category already explained previously entertainment i will say all this category and the best part is this geo platform this geo glasses will be going to 50 million plus uh, i will say users so this is you can see how big is this network how your whatever you are creating it will go to the all all i will say age all age and everything every like all the corners to the to the country and global apart from this these are the two technologies are i will say two solutions and apart from this the third solutions are like like i will say the uh, opportunity are to become a best developers so you can be a developer for for any of the companies or if you have this technology because i know this market will be expanding 
this market will be expanding very huge and and you can be a best uh, developers out there and and for this and i'm talking about the jobs now in in the next slide the job segment in this particular xr market the entire job uh, and you can see and and you can see this is a 2019 report the report when the pandemic is about to hit like like before the pandemic so you can see before the pandemic the entire number of of ar and vr jobs you can see 23 million uh, jobs were already there in in around around uh, the entire ecosystem like 2030 so apart from this there will be a, like 3.6 million jobs in in 2022 so this figure this report is 2019 before the pandemic hit and you can see after this the, the entire technology revolution is being been i think 5 years and 6 years they they have narrowed down and you can see how the numbers will go from now the entire uh, i will say opportunity for for developers like you for for to to be a part of this ecosystem and the job opportunity is huge so i will say don't don't like waste your time and and join this this entire network the the beautiful i will say uh the the apps and then the entire content creation and and that's all and over to you karan thanks a lot uh, samkit for uh, you know partnering with us and making uh, this first collaboration between geo tesseract and hack the skill possible uh, for developers looking to enter build create lay building blocks for the indian metaverse xr application development through the geoglass platform offers a unique opportunity to you all uh the platform can help you build immersive content for the next billion internet users in india and above uh of course which would be empowered with limitless possibilities uh join the revolution because uh, xr isn't a thing of the future it's already uh, a reality right now you can write us at developer@tesseract.in and you can also follow us on our social media handles we are available on facebook instagram twitter uh, and other social media platforms as well once again on behalf of geo tesseract thanking you all for being such a wonderful audience and uh, looking forward to you know uh, connect again as part of our developer connect session or on some other forum uh, thanks a lot and have an amazing weekend guys thanks a lot